Mick's in the middle of Ian Beale's mess after Rainey wants more cash. He decides to pay her off once and for all, but Mick drives past as he's parked up talking to her. Ian takes off as the police suddenly arrive and Mick's wrongly arrested for curb crawling while Rainey refuses to clear him. Later, Ian's forced to tell Mick he was with Rainey the night Lucy died, but pleads with him to stay quiet. Mick agrees, but it all spills out when Linda takes a call from his lawyer. Mick comes clean to Linda, but Cora overhears and you just know it will only be minutes before she reveals he's been arrested for soliciting. Earlier, Mick is getting jitters about the swimming gala. He freezes at the poolside. Will he humiliate himself in front of everyone? Alex takes Alfie's pitch off him when he disappears as Cat has a false alarm. Alex calls a truce after Alfie goes to his boss, but he secretly plans revenge. Then Jean and Lily turn up on their doorstep. She's left Ollie. Jean visits Stacy and reveals there's a way she can get out of prison. But Jean collapses at Cat's baby shower. Stacy's allowed to visit her with Cat in hospital, but suddenly Cat's waters break. Good place to be. We visit Weatherfield next. Ken's back from Canada, and when Carla gets to him first, he's furious that Deirdre hasn't told him about Peter's arrest. Ken backs Peter completely and says he'll get him a new solicitor, while later declaring to Deirdre that they need to find the real killer. Peter's gutted when Ken visits without Simon, as promised. Rob engineered a trip to the zoo instead, but Rob's jittery when he hears about the new solicitor. Jason's impressed when Todd gets them a roofing job but is furious when he learns Todd tried to dupe Norris into thinking he needed a new roof. Meanwhile, Todd and Tony are annoyed Jason wants to do Tyrone's loft at mates rates, so they conspire to buy cheap materials for the job. Lloyd admits he misses Andrea, so he's alarmed when Neil says she's gone missing. She returns and says she's left Neil for good. Is there any way back for them? Finally, it's Emmerdale. Paddy finds Donna collapsed and worries as Muck and Marlon's feelings for his ex are resurfacing, especially after an emotional exchange turns into a kiss. She only has weeks to live, but is fearful she's jeopardised Marlon and Laura's relationship when he tells Paddy about the kiss. After the exes make a gut-wrenching video for April, Donna collapses again. Time is short, but bizarrely she wants to spend some of it doing another job with Ross. Elsewhere, Kane blackmails Charity for £20,000, threatening to tell Deck about the abortion. He uses the cash to pay off Andy, but when Moira makes a move on him, he dashes off. Jay and Layla's flirting continues unabated, but she's angry when he asks her to entrap Rakesh. He heads over to have it out with Jay and walks in on them together. And Andy's worried his anger issues are resurfacing. He meets an abused woman at hospital who's fearful around him. Later, he loses his rag with Sarah.